Good afternoon, everybody. It is Mark Bernstein at Balto, and I could not be more excited today to share with you all the big developments Balto is making on a product over the last several years. Uh, today, we're actually going to share with you the biggest release that we've made probably since 2018 and how Balto is going to change coaching and change QA as we know it forever. So we'll start today with a little bit about the category that we're creating and the problem that Balto solves. We'll move into live demos and simulations of our current real-time guidance product and real-time QA and real-time coaching. Uh, we'll finish with uh, an explanation of uh, some of the cool incentives we have ready for everyone and a call to action. Of course, of course, of course, anyone who wants to engage with us and learn more about the product, we would love to meet you and see you. Uh, I'm so grateful today to have uh, with me on today's live stream, Deidre Arnold, Balto's senior product manager, um, who led the charge for real-time coaching and real-time QA. So excited to have Jeff Zimmerman, our chief product officer, uh, without whom none of this would be possible. So excited to have today our account executive, David Chambers, and he actually started with us a few years ago as an SDR, sales development representative, the same path that I came from. And of course, so excited to have all of you with us today, friends, customers, and even competitors. Welcome. We're all building great technology for the market. Uh, let's share what we have and make something special. So here we go. What happened in 2020? Well, in 2020, we had all of this retail traffic, this in-person foot traffic that was frequenting stores and shops to get different products purchased, purchased and different services done. And COVID happens, and we immediately took all of that volume, all of that foot traffic, and shifted it like a fire hose. We shifted it. And where did those interactions go? Well, of course, a lot of them went to self-service, you know, taking uh, care of their own needs on our, on our website and getting the product information they need and getting self-service on our websites. And then the rest went to the contact center. Universally, people were reporting 20% or greater increases in contact center volume. And at the same time, that in-person touch point, poof, disappeared. So when all of your customers are now talking to you through essentially just two channels, in-person and, uh, you know, um, when they're talking through two channels, the, um, your website and uh, through your contact center, how do you make sure that you are taking care of their needs and maximizing the value of that relationship? Well, it starts at the customer conversation. We say that the customer conversation is the atomic unit of business. It is the thing that connects your customers and whatever their need is to your sales team, to your customer service team, to your product offering. It all starts there at that exchange of information. So customer care and sales are actually becoming one of the same nowadays. We've been talking for over a decade about the contact center. When is it going to shift to being a profit center? When is it going to shift to being something that is revenue generating, that allows you to produce new sales for your business? Well, we have this new subscription economy and this new recurring revenue economy where more and more and more of the customer revenue stack than ever is behind customer care. So when your customers are talking to you, and this is your opportunity to connect with them, and they reach out to your customer care team, are you going to just shoo them out the door as quickly as possible? Consider Apple. Imagine if the Apple store didn't welcome you in and let you browse, but instead you got right up there and a genius said, what do you want? And shoot you out as quickly as possible. Well, that's the old model of the contact center, and that is changing. Balto is helping change that by making those interactions the crucial points of your business connecting with your customers. So how can you get revenue out of it? How can you get new marketing opportunities out of it? How can you get referrals and cross-sells and upsells and delighted customers that go into the market championing your product and championing your service rather than dissenters that go in the market posting uh, terrible things online, which all of us have been subject to now or then? Well, the fact that your customer conversations matter more than ever means that a new opportunity has come up for your business. 
And we say that Balto is shifting the world from conversation intelligence, which is the standard that all of us are paying attention to nowadays, getting some sort of analysis or intelligence from your customer interactions. We're shifting from conversation intelligence to conversation excellence. Because what we found is so many organizations have all of these insights that they've mined through their call recordings and their speech analytics and the voice of the customer surveys, all of these different insights. And now they're faced with an insight backlog. So many different things that they've discovered that the data science team has modeled out, that the product team has tried to productize, that they can't actually deliver throughout the contact center. But the holy grail that we've all been looking at for decades is when it comes to our sales interactions and it comes to our customer care interactions, how are those interactions excellent with our customers every time? That's the end goal, is that when we communicate with our customers, the interactions are excellent. So let's shift from this idea of wanting to know what's happening, which is the starting point, and recognize that intelligence is not enough. What we're ultimately trying to do is scale out excellent customer conversations in every sales interaction, and every customer care interaction. So that is Balto's vision, scaling excellent conversations to your entire organization with a push of a button. How do we unleash a new form of economics where previously it may not have been a good investment to invest in beefing up your contact center and make in supercharging your agents, but how do we make it that that interaction gets so much value from your customers that you do want to invest in it, that that's the next biggest area of opportunity for your business. And we think if you can scale out excellent conversations, you're able to mobilize your customers in ways you never have before. So to do this, we built the world's first real-time guidance platform. Four parts. The first part many of you are already familiar with is real-time guidance. That is AI to supercharge your agents, automatically guiding agents to be as effective as possible on every call. And we'll start today by showing you all uh, our real-time guidance application so you can jog your memory about what that is and how it works. And today we're also releasing real-time coaching. This is a manager's dream. Think about it. Imagine that you are a sales manager or a customer service manager. And right now you're analyzing all these call recordings and trying to fix problems. Well, imagine if in the moment, the moment that the agent needed you, ding, 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 a, a notification comes up and you see right there the agent needs you and you and the agent can work together to make that call as effective as possible. We say that not only does that have a productivity benefit, a productivity advantage, because calls that would have been lost where a you know, frustrated customer goes out into the market or a sale doesn't happen, get one. Not only is there a productivity advantage, but there's a cultural advantage. What happens when we get rid of the Socratic method of coaching, where the agent goes in the manager's office, gets pulled off the phone, and the manager says, uh, pulls up the call recording and says, what could you have done better here? And the agent goes, um, I don't know, I probably could have asked more questions. The manager says, what kind of questions? And goes back and forth with a grilling session until the agent hopefully gets it. Let's change the culture. If you think about the absolute best coaching that we've ever experienced or we've ever done, it's when the coach and the player are working together in the moment and get some sort of win. It's when you know we all went out on a sales call. Imagine that. Back in the day, we used to go out on sales calls. And you're at the table and your manager slips you a little sticky note and it says, uh, you know, uh, transition toward uh, pricing. And you start bringing up the pricing and then you move the deal forward and you win. And then you leave the deal and you high five in the parking lot where you two did that together. Or even imagine you're with your son or daughter's soccer game and your son or daughter makes it three quarters of the way down the field. They have the ball. They typically haven't really been shooting when they have the ball, but you say, you got this, shoot. And they shoot and they score and you have that moment together. Well, that's how we want to change coaching. We don't just want to change the productivity. We want to change the coaching. We want to change the culture where agents are doing what agents are excellent at, which is a high volume of really important customer conversations. The managers are doing what managers are best at, enabling agents to succeed across the entire team at scale. So we'll introduce that to you all today.
Then we also built real-time QA, uh, allowing you to score 100% of your calls in real time. So we look at the current paradigm of what are people doing in QA today and what are machines doing in QA today? And for some reason, we're still stuck where people think that the right role for people in QA is checking off boxes and doing the scoring. But that's something that is highly repeatable. That's something that uh, shouldn't be subjective. That's something that takes a whole lot of time for a person to do. But with the right setup, a machine can do all of those instantly. So that allows your QA team to focus on what people are really good at, digging into the exceptions, understanding the context, finding patterns among agents that aren't working so well, and patterns among calls and different types of calls that need help. That's where machines are good, and that's where people are good. And we want to change the way that you all view QA in your organization. The scoring is the means, not the end. Then we support all of this with Balto's real-time intelligence. Uh, we'll reveal it to you all today. Uh, we released a brand new revamped reporting suite, super clean, super easy with all of your key contact center KPIs, in addition to trends and how all of your calls are going, what's working and what's not. So the paradigm that Balto has is it is not enough to know what to do. You have to be able to actually do it at scale. So everything that we show you in real-time intelligence and Balto's reporting, we create a mirror experience for the agent to be able to act on that in their call. Our philosophy around, around reporting is we only want to give reports that can actually be acted upon by the agent in real time. So let's start with what's wrong with coaching and just provide a little bit of context of this before we go into our demos. Well, it breaks down to three different categories, time, effectiveness, too late. How much time does it take to dig through and find call recordings that you wanna coach on? We actually surveyed over 500 sales and service managers and contact centers, and 46% said that call recordings were the number one mechanism that they used to coach. But it takes so much time to actually prepare for that coaching session, where typically they would spend over an hour preparing, usually about an hour and uh, 20 minutes if it was a smaller organization. And if it got really big, it could be even over an hour and a half. And then they would spend only 32 to 36 minutes actually coaching. So this isn't what Abraham Lincoln said, where you want to sharpen your ax for three hours and coach for one, because they're spending most of that time just digging through, finding call recordings to coach on. Let's make that faster. And let's make it so we don't have to pull the agent off the phone in order to do it. Effectiveness. One of the things that we found in that same survey is that most of the time managers think that they're spending coaching. They're actually spending re-coaching again and again all the different things that they already coached on. In fact, in an organization of over 500 agents, if you have over 500 agents organization, managers reported that over 70% of the time, they're coaching multiple agents on the exact same skill. How can we allow managers to coach once, scale it out? That's what we've introduced here with real-time coaching. And then the simple fact that it's too late right? We've already frustrated the customer. We've already lost the sale. Um, if you think about like what is inevitable in this world, what's inevitable is we're going to move toward a system of winning right there when we need it, not reviewing too late what already happened. We're moving there. And that's what Balto is advancing that specific field. We're advancing that field today. So in short, managers need to spend less time helping, less time coaching agents after the fact and more time helping agents win right there on the call. And I'll show you all just a quick bit of that data. Uh, we actually found that on average, managers are re-coaching four times before an agent gets it. So managers need to spend four coaching sessions for an agent to implement just one coaching piece of advice. So that means that 75% of the time is actually spent re-coaching and only 25% of the time is actually spent coaching. How do we make 100% of the time as effective as possible? And you can even see that the larger an organization gets, the more agents that you have, the more time managers spend re-coaching, 
where they reported if you have over 500 agents on average, that they need to coach agents five times before they implement a change. Let's start making it coach once and win. That's what we're moving toward. So now let's go into QA. Well, what is wrong with QA? The first glaring thing we've all heard, we've all noticed is that maybe we're doing a really good job and have a robust QA organization and we're scoring two calls a week or two to eight calls a month, somewhere in that range, which is pretty typical. Well, that usually equates to around 2% of your entire call volume, meaning you're not scoring 98% of your calls. What the heck is happening on the other 98%? Are we really going to be satisfied saying, well, we scored 2% and hopefully the other 98 are just as good as these. So we have a full picture and hopefully there's no uh, creepy crawlies living in the other 98% that could pop out and hurt our business. So let's just assume we're good and move on. We're done with that. We're done with that. This is 2021 folks. It's time to score hundred percent of calls. No, it's happening on hundred percent of your calls. Uh, QA right now is repetitive and subjective. Back to what I mentioned just a minute earlier, which is, do people do a good job doing the same thing again and again and again and again? Like, is that something that people are naturally good at? Of course not. We crave variability. And it's something that in the QA world, we're asking our QA analysts to do, to make these highly repetitive and very subjective judgments to just tick boxes and score calls. Let's have those folks focused on pattern recognition, on context understanding, on communicating broader trends among agents and calls. And uh, the fact that it's repetitive and subjective means that it's not as effective as it could be. And then just like with real-time coaching, it is also too late. What happens if you do two call recording reviews per month and you coach on the 30th day of the month and the call happened on the first day of the month? First of all, how effective do you think it'll be in changing agent behavior if you're coaching 30 days after the thing actually happened? Second, how uh, much do you think you'll be able to you know, go and help that customer? Imagine the customer, customer is frustrated and 30 days later, you call them back and say, hey, we noticed you were frustrated 30 days ago. That's probably not going to sit too well either. It means they probably went to a competitor. So let's take the QA function, which is essentially assessing the health of all of our calls and not make it something that happens over the course of a month, but something that happens instantly in real time. So QA departments can objectively score 100% of calls before they happen. And this uh, graph, if you all haven't seen it before, uh, just like look at it visually for a second, how it feels to say you're listening to 2% of your calls, but you're not listening to 98%. That delta is really, really extreme. So it is time, folks, to move into a live demo. And here I'm going to pass the screen control to David Chambers for one second. And he's going to show you guys real-time guidance, our current application that we've that you've known and loved for a, a, quite a bit of time, the agent app and the cloud app. David, thank you so much. I'll pass it over to you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, and yeah, I appreciate the introduction here. Uh, as I start, start sharing my screen here, I do want to start with a quick overview of what is real-time guidance and really what is Balto? So, uh, you know, at, real quick, Balto is powered by AI and it listens to both sides of a phone conversation and can visually prompt agents with the best things to say live on every single phone call. So really the purpose of that is to scale your best practices to thousands of agents with the push of a button and to get immediate insight into what's working and what doesn't. So, you know, what, how does that impact my call center? How does it impact my contact center? Well, some of the results we've had in the contact center space, uh, first of all, uh, Mark mentioned it is increasing revenue. That's ultimately the number one goal here. And uh, we've been able to increase revenue by increasing sales conversion rates by 31%. Now we also been able to decrease new hire ramp time by 75%, decrease average handle time by 90 seconds, as well as improve CSAT and MPS scores for uh, those customer service use cases. So really, whatever it might be uh, you guys are focused on, feel free to reach out to us if you want to see a personalized demo. Uh, I'm going to go here, go ahead here and show you a really broad uh, you know, version of a demo here. And uh, feel free to you know, request one after if you guys are interested. So as you can see on my screen here, you can see checklists, objections, buying signs, and FAQs. We call this a playbook. Playbooks are 100% customizable. Uh, like uh, Mark mentioned here, 
I am gonna do this live. So uh, now, as you can see, now that Balto is green, it's analyzing everything I'm saying and would be analyzing everything you're saying if there was someone on the other line here. So I'm gonna go ahead here and start at the very top at our smart checklist. Now, this is where you guys are able to ensure that your contact center agents are saying all the necessary items uh, and necessary items in a call flow on every single call. So whether that be you know, a compliance statement, an introduction, closing statement, discovery question, whatever it might be, you can make sure they're doing this on every call right up here. So if I go, go up here to the very top here and start uh, and say, you know, so tell me, what are you interested in our solution to start off with? Well, interesting. It sounds like you're saying you're, you're, at, you're interested in real-time guidance is, uh, is this the case? Great, any other questions before we process your, or before we go ahead and select your plan? Well, is there anything in to now and then that would cause you to cancel? Well, you have a right to cancel your agreement in 30 days. Well, great speaking with you today. Uh, you'll receive a letter in the mail confirming your new plan and providing your login information uh, into our online portal. So I do wanna pause here uh, and kind of explain what you guys just saw. First of all, I'm sure you all noticed as I was saying these items out loud, Balto heard it and then automatically turned checkmarked green to let me know as the agent that I've said each necessary item that can go down the line to hit, more, hit the rest of them. As well as when I finished the checklist and hit what we call our win marker, Balto uh, exploded in confetti to let me know, hey, you did a great job. You hit all the necessary items in your call. Uh, you know, pat on the back, good job. Now, what, what you guys didn't see is that uh, Balto is actually analyzing everything on the back end here. And everything, 100% uh, of phone calls are going to your dashboard in the back, telling you guys you know, what, is, what your agents said on the call, what they didn't say, and where there are opportunities for improvement uh, in your, your playbooks, whatever it might be. And now you can see Balto understood that I mentioned our dashboards. So it's giving me a few questions to ask, um, you know, the imaginary buyer over there, you know, what sort of dashboard are you looking for? How would you plan on using those? And similar to above, as I say these items, Balto is gonna automatically understand it and check mark blue to let me know, you know, I've set each item and it's time to go down the line. Now, this prompt right here is what we call a dynamic prompt. Um, these will be coming up whenever a tough item comes up in a conversation. So whether it be a tough objection, such as, hey, I don't have enough money for this. This is not gonna be um, in my, my budget. Balto is gonna understand when I gave myself that budget objection and prompt me with the best ways to overcome it. Now, the uh, last item here before I move over to the reporting is I do wanna show, you know, whenever a agent makes a mistake on a phone call, um, whether that be you know, saying something they shouldn't say or talking too fast, talking too much, Balto is gonna send a quick notification to them to let them know, you know hey, you know, you're doing this uh, time to, you know, to, to fix your mistake. So an example of that could be if I said something non-compliant here and said, hey, I guarantee you that this will be the best software you guys ever buy in your entire life, um, the, Balto is going to flag me for that and say, actually, hold on, David, pause, fix your mistake and say, actually, most likely, in my own opinion, this is the best software ever. Um, I can't guarantee you anything. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead here and transition to the post call end. Um, as Mark mentioned, this is fully customizable. Uh, you guys can uh, put really anything you want inside of here. And the opportunities are really endless as far as what you guys want to be to driving on your conversation. So I'm going to stop sharing there and hop on over to the back end. Now, something I, I forgot to mention is when those items come up in a conversation, those dynamic prompts, you might have saw that uh, when, I, when I use them, it checkmarked blue. Now, what's happening in the back end here is Balto is taking note that I said that item and uh, then checking to see how the call ended up. And what we're able to do with that information is see which rebuttals to each objection worked the best, and then let your managers know, hey, this is this objection, this objection rebuttal works really well, and this one doesn't. You know, and this one, you know, maybe needs some work, and you know, this one's performing, you know, mildly okay. Uh, we can see this all in the back end here. So I'm actually going to start with that real quick, and we call this our win rate analysis. So you can see uh, in that objection that I, I popped up, the budget objection. You can see here are all the different rebuttals. You can see this first one at the very top here, um, aside from price, how was the product we discussed match you're looking for? It's performing pretty well. You know, 75% of the time when they use that rebuttal, it results in a successful sale or a successful one call. Whereas, uh, you know, down here, no response used. Uh, if they don't say one of these items, when a budget objection pops up, 
they have a 0% chance of overcoming that and actually winning the call. So uh, not only are you able to drive your best practices with real-time guidance, you're also able to A-B test different uh, ways of, of using these things and seeing what works best and what doesn't. Now, I'm going to kind of quickly show you a quick overview before I pass back over to Mark. Inside of our reporting, um, once again, fully customizable, you guys are able to really report on anything you want, whether it be uh, something that you are prompting on inside the real-time guidance or something that you want to report on on the back end. When you log in, if your agents have five minutes or your managers have five minutes to go in and see how their agents are doing, you're able to get a quick glimpse into every single phone call they placed during that time period that you selected. So I can see here, right at a glance, uh, my most important metrics are right in front of me, my average channel time, the amount of wins I have, my win rate percentage. I can then see a quick overview of how my checklist usage is going, that smart checklist, uh, of how are my agents doing as far as compliance goes, discovery questions, closing marks, whatever it might be. Uh, you can see at a glance how they're doing as far as the items they need to say in every call. I can also see a quick, quick uh, glance, glance, glance here, um, which of the objections or questions or uh, deck items came up the most. So you can see in this uh, you know, demo playbook here, interest comes up the most often, but also you know, expensive, which seems like a tough objection comes up pretty often. Maybe I need to take that information and uh, go do a coaching session on the best ways to uh, you know, handle the expensive objection. As well as notifications. You saw that guarantee notification pop up uh, when I said that non-compliant statement. Here you can see that our, our agents are saying, unfortunately, I can't. And we actually, when we prompt them that or flag them for that, we're gonna let them know, hey, uh, maybe you should replace that with, um, you know, let me see what I can do for you instead of unfortunately, I can't. So we can train out those bad behaviors and uh, replace them with behaviors you guys want your agents to be using. So I'm gonna go ahead here and, and pass it back over to Mark. Uh, feel free to, to request a demo on our website if you want to, to see a more personalized view um, on the, on the real-time guide. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> David, uh, thank you so much. That was just wonderful. Um, and uh, really just, it's been such a pleasure um, over these years working with you, um, you know, in sales and getting to know the product together like we have. So thank you, my friend. Fantastic demo. Huge kudos to you. So this is the moment, the moment we've all been waiting for, the new product release. Here we go. Um, if everyone uh, can see this and uh, Balta team, if, uh, if uh, you can't give me a oh, beautiful, I see a thumbs up. Well, here we go. This is real-time coaching. And it is going to allow you as a manager to create triggers and alerts for anything that you want to coach on and get a notification right there in the moment that someone needs help. And you can jump in and live listen to the call through the application. You can read the live transcript through the application and even chat the agent to help them win all in the same spot. So let's see how easy it is to create an alert. I'm going to hit this uh, very uh, well-named button, create alert. And uh, here are my options. So let's imagine that there's a particular agent that I'm working with who just keeps struggling to figure out how to handle pricing with uh, their customers. Well, let's start by making this an individual coaching session where I want to help them win. So I'm going to type in pricing mention here. And uh, there's a bunch of different alert types we see. There's a negative alert, something that's not going well on a call. Positive, something you want to celebrate. Informative, something that's important, but doesn't quite necessarily be negative or positive um, one way or the other. And then uh, raising your hand. We even give agents the ability to raise their hand, say, hey, I need help. So let's make this one informative. And the agent who's been really struggling with this, I want to choose just one agent. It is our good friend, Diana. Diana, let's get a coaching session in here. I'm going to click this button. And uh, now you have the ability to, across all your different collections of Balto content, your different playbooks, choose which playbooks you want this to be active for. So I'm going to go ahead and say that, Diana, this really matters on your inbound sales use case on the auto team. So let's make sure we do that. Well, right now in this imaginary world, Diana only has... Uh, you know, pricing be analyzed in the background and post call because, you know, her leadership wanted to know, you know, when pricing came up, how were people dealing with it and how often did it come up? 
but let's see if we can make that real time. So I'm going to go to post call. I'm going to click on pricing and I'm going to hit create. And now we just created a real time alert for managers. This is the rocket ship button. You hit that and you go live. Let's see what happens. There we are. We're live and boom, there's Diana right now in the moment needs some help. I'm going to click on our icon here and see exactly what's happening. It's an informative alert. The one I just set up, let's listen to the call. Now we're on a, uh, a Zoom meeting with hundreds of people. So uh, you can't quite all listen to the audio stream here. But you can imagine it. And we're seeing the transcript in real time as Diana is trying to handle this. Can you tell me more about what pricing information you'd like? I wonder how much money I can save. And you're able to read this and even go back in time, if you will, and say, well, what did the customer say before? Well, let's chat Diana some help. So I'm going to click this chat button right here. And boom, my chat at the bottom just popped up. And I'm going to tell Diana, go back to product value. Send it. Let's see how she does. Got it. Diana just signaled on her app that she saw the recommendation. She's good to go. She can send that communication back. And we can watch what's happening right here. I like the product a lot. It's going to be about the savings. Glad to hear it. But she properly switched back to value. Before we jump into pricing, what benefits of the product are most important to you? Think about if you could do this for any of your agents at any time at scale. Uh, managers say that one of the ways they love to coach is popping in and listening to calls, but it's not random anymore. Now it's calls that need help where the managers and the agents can work together to win. Awesome job, job Diana. Uh, really way to go. So I'll collapse that here. But now I might be having some sort of realization that said, you know what? I remember that uh, report that Balta mentioned that 70% of the time you're coaching multiple agents the exact same thing. I bet other people need help pricing too. Let's make this something that goes across the entire team. And that way I can also listen for agents that are doing really well. And first of all, congratulate them. And second of all, take that content and put it right back into Balto. So I'm going to edit that alert right there. I'm now going to make it active for all agents. And then I'm going to hit save. And we're going to see right here on the side, all these different notifications coming in to help me help my team deal with pricing. Incredible stuff. So that's a good sales use case, but now let's try to take care of our customer care team. I'm gonna create a new alert for our customer care team. The one that is the biggest make or break moment. And that is going to be for a frustrated customer. All right. And then let's uh, say, of course, that's a negative type alert, something bad we wanna listen for. And I don't need to coach any specific agent on it. I just wanna hear when it's happening so I can always be there to help. So I'll do it for all agents. And I'll choose my playbook here. And it's going to be our customer service auto team. Great. Now, maybe that team is currently getting a dynamic prompt. Maybe Balto is currently popping something up right there when they need it saying, hey, we sense a frustrated customer. Here's some talking points. And I want to try to supplement that with the human touch. So I'll go in the dynamic prompt and choose this. And that way, they're getting the recommendation from Balto and they're getting my help as the manager right there in the moment. So I'll choose a general complaint, hit create, and turn this one live. There we go. We see Kelly just got one. Let me jump in and see if I can help out Kelly. So there we are. I click it. I'm going to listen to it again. And we see, oh, the real-time transcript. Are you kidding? That's not what I ordered. Can you please tell me your order number? Yeah, one sec. This is ridiculous. Ooh. Okay. Let's remind Kelly that what she needs to do is acknowledge the customer frustration versus just get down to brass tacks. Acknowledge, acknowledge. And there we go. Got it. She said she got it. There we go. Changing the conversation right there. I completely get why you're frustrated. Honestly, I'd be mad too. Let's see if I can help you get this fixed. Changes the entire tenor of the conversation by working with Kelly, coaching Kelly in real time on that call. Incredible. So if we're going to have something informative and we're going to have something negative, let's start making sure that positive coaching comes into our interactions as well. So I'm going to create an alert for a positive coaching alert. Um, so let's put in a customer compliment. And that way we can start 
to create a culture of celebrating our agent successes right there while they have them. So there we go. We have the compliment. Let's hit positive. And I don't want to celebrate just a couple of agents. That wouldn't be fair. So I'll make it active for all agents. Again, choose my playbook. And uh, let's go back to the customer care team because uh, they're the ones that when they get a customer compliment, really want to highlight that and help make their days. So there we are. And then you don't want to show any sort of dynamic prompt if every time you get a compliment. So I'll make sure that that was in post call. And now we're able to see exactly what happened. Because think about how annoying that would be if every time the customer said something nice, Balter started popping up info, like that wouldn't help you uh, have a better call. So it's in post call. So now I'll hit create. And now we just created a compliment and we're listening for compliments. Let's turn this thing live and see what we get. Another one right here. We see Jesse. What's happening with Jesse? Positive alert. Let's listen to it. <laughs> there you go. You've been so wonderful. I really appreciate it. Aw, oh, thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Let's give Jesse a quick kudos. I'm going to chatter and say, great job, Jesse and send it her way. So, wow, we just saw three use cases for how you can coach in real time. Coaching on any of those complicated topics, the FAQs that come up on your call, coaching on the negative stuff, you wanna make sure you have a really tight handle on to help have a great customer experience across the board and coaching the positive stuff so you can be celebrating more wins and giving your agents who may be remote that pat on the back that they often don't get. And now they can get it in real time, right when they've done something great, that you can share and send around the team. Incredible. So with that said, um, I will now uh, show you guys how, well, if we had all this and we created all this stuff on, for example, on pricing, how can we make sure that you're able to put that back in your Balto playbook? Well, that's what our playbook editor looks like. And you all should see this new screen that says Balto Playbook Editor. And I can just create a recommendation right here. So let me go right on down to buying signs. That's a good one. And say, you know what? If someone's asking about pricing, chances are it's a buying sign. So I'll create a recommendation really easily. Pricing. And then maybe some sort of lead-in to help the agent say, hey, I'm glad to discuss that. There we go. And maybe there's three ways I want them to respond. What benefits did you like most? Can you tell me more about what you were looking for? And let's get you pricing. That easy. Whatever the best practices are, you want to scale, you put it right out there. And now I'm going to go and choose uh, custom keywords. We have something called an AI library that analyzes over a hundred different common topics that come up on your calls. Things like saying the product's too expensive or that you need uh, to get budget for this or saying that uh, uh, you know, customer's complaining. But I'll just use a couple simple keywords here and say price, pricing. And let's say that it can come up from either side. It can come up from the rep if the agent is mentioning it. We want to pop up this help. If the customer is mentioning it, we want to pop up this help. We'll hit both. Trigger once, save. So when we talk about scaling out best practices with the push of the button, here's the button. <laughs> it's the save draft button and the publish draft. And you can now imagine hundreds or thousands of agents are now all going to see that pricing info in real time. So right here on the right, someone says, hey, you know, um, I'd like to ask about your price. Uh, do you have any pricing available? Well, Balta heard that and automatically popped up my recommendation right there in the moment. Sure. Let me ask, what benefits did you like most? That's the loop, folks. That's the loop between that real-time individual coaching then scaling it out across a broader group of agents, and then uh, putting it in your Balto playbook so the repeatable stuff gets coached on again and again. Really revolutionary stuff. So that is our real-time coaching experience. And that is um, you know, our playbook editor and how you can scale it out inside Balto real-time guidance. Let's go to QA. So real-time QA allows you to create 
custom scorecards, as many as you want for any set of agents on the criteria that your organization cares about most. And if you think about it, you know, previous automated QA has suffered because it hasn't given the agents any recommendations in real time. So what happens is it's saying, well, hopefully agents say something that sounds like this and I'll score it. But Balto is creating that symbiosis between giving the agent very clear expectations of what they need to say and scoring the agent afterwards. So the agents and the managers and the executives are all on the same page about what exactly a great call sounds like. So let's uh, edit a scorecard and see how easy it is. I'll come in over here and I'll hit edit scorecard and start adding some different measures. We broke down these measures here in very common sections that most quality assurance teams are using. Things like compliance, opening and greeting, call handling service, resolution, closing and recap. And you're able to in any of these sections, add any items you want with any weights you want, move it around up to you. We created a really robust and flexible QA scorecard that still gives you guide rails so it's not a headache to set up like you may be experiencing with some of the other speech analytics companies out there. So I'll go into the opening greeting and say, let's uh, beef this thing up and add some criteria. Well, we don't have a use personalized greeting here uh, that in our scorecard right now. Let me just add that in. I'll hit view criteria. And now my entire Balto playbook popped up giving me all the different options of things that I can automatically score in this scorecard. Items from my checklist, the dynamic prompts that David demoed to us earlier, the notifications, the things that aren't going well, the things like guarantee, and different even criteria in the background, post-call, things like empathy, things like active listing. You can score all of those using this custom scorecard. But this is an easy one. Um, I'll just say, you know, my name is blank. How may I help you today? And you have to specify, you know, is it that it must be present or not present? You can say, if this thing happens, that's bad. That's an auto fail. Well, you're able to identify those criteria on the call, all the different QA mechanisms that you're used to, and even adjust the weight over here. I'll save that guy really easy. And let me go back and just do one more here. So I'm back in customer service. Let's add something to call handling as well. Just quick to kind of get the hang of it. So I'll go to conversation flow, tone, pace, view criteria here. And uh, let's say that I'm trying to get all my agents to uh, assure customers that we can help them. It's one of the things some agents skip over where they just start going in the resolution and the customer doesn't know, wait, are they actually solving this or are they just trying to figure it out? Well, let's, let's you know, nip that in the bud and say, uh, no problem, I can definitely help you with that. I'll add that to the QA scorecard. I'll hit save. And now both of those measures are being scored across 100% of my calls. Imagine what your QA operation looks like when 100% of your calls have a score, 100% of your agents are scored in real time, and you're able to dig in and figure out what exactly is happening. Well, I'll open up the dashboard so we can see how is this tra translating to our analytics. Here we go. So uh, we have a couple of very common filters set up here at the top. You know, things like, you know, which different configuration, which playbook is being used. This is a customer service playbook. You have a bunch of different tags that you can add, things like geographies or, you know, new reps versus tenured reps. Uh, you actually have the ability to create any tags you want and even group them into what we call tag groups. Or you could just show this dashboard with uh, any selected agents. Maybe you just want to, you know, uh, nail it down to a couple agents. You have the ability to do all of those filters here. So you can see actually, uh, since I've even just been overviewing this, um, the scores are automatically being recalibrated in real time across all agents and all of those categories. Compliance, opening greeting, call handling, resolution, closing and recap. So uh, way to go uh, team. It looks like we're at an average of a 91. Um, and I don't need all this info for the Northeast region. Let me collapse that right there. I'm really focused on just the Midwest region today. Uh, Balto's in St. Louis, go St. Louis, go Midwest. Always going to give a St. Louis shout out here. So uh, now we're able to look agent by agent, call by call. And I think that one thing probably stands out to everyone. Well, uh, besides the fact that Fred Adelson is totally crushing it today. Way to go, Fred, 98 and all these hundreds. I think we all saw that Bill Nelson's having a little bit of trouble. 
So I'm going to click here into Bill Nelson, see what's going on, and actually going to hand it over to Deidre, um, our senior product manager who uh, created uh, this product with us to talk through how you can dig in to specific problem areas in your call. I'll hand it over to Deidre to talk through it, and I'll stay here and click around. Deidre, all you, my friend. Excellent. Thank you, Mark. Happy to take the ball like my favorite running back of all time, Edrin James, who was just inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, but yes, as Mark was saying, um, one of the main points of Balto Real Time QA is to help people get to the areas of concern faster and diagnose issues. So if we come in here and we look at Bill Nelson's scores over the course of the day, we can see that there is an area called handling customer service that looks like it may be problematic. Um, if we want to get further information and be able to kind of get to the root and heart of the issue, we can dive further into the call handling and customer service and see what are those scores over on average that he's getting on those measures that we set up. And it looks like, yeah, we could have some issues in empathy, rapport, and politeness. Um, that's really low in this area. So we might wanna go even further in our analysis and view the notable calls. Those notable calls are gonna be a subset of all of Bill Nelson's calls where call handling and customer service appear to be an issue so that we can take out that subset of calls and really start to shrink our area of investigation to get to the heart of the issue. So if we're looking at these notable calls, this first one shows that yes, call handling and customer service indeed is one of the lowest sections. We can drill into that even further and see for this individual call, it looks like empathy, rapport and politeness was very low. Um, we might want to understand what are the components that are contributing to this low score. And so we might want to see those individual items that this agent may be having trouble with. And it looks like for this call, we're having problems demonstrating empathy. We aren't demonstrating active listening and we are not communicating with our customer in any way, shape or form that could be deemed professional. So this could form an area of focus that we want to have for our current and future coaching plans with this agent. Um, what is interesting about this entire workflow is that we've seen this manifest in real life with one of our five early adopter customers um, that we were working with. Uh, this particular customer happens to be an international debt collection organization with a presence in the US and abroad in Australia. And we were working with their compliance team to give them a product tour and show them around the features and functionality of Balto Real-Time QA in their environment. Um, the head of compliance was on with us and was walking through and driving through uh, this scores page and looking at call scores for the day and happened to see there are some very low scores. Can we dig into those? Absolutely, we can. Um, so they were able to dig into those low scores and see, hmm, it looks like there's a pattern with a, specific, with a particular agent. Uh, was able to quickly filter the calls for that agent for that day and identify an area that was being missed that was a potential compliance issue. Um, and at that time, that head of compliance said, this is the difference in having this information real time. We were able to identify a potential issue uh, based on call activity that happened today. We can now investigate today, confirm today, and potentially remediate today. Whereas in our past manual process, we might have had to wait until the end of the month to surface these issues and the organization would have been exposed to risk this whole time. Um, we could, you know, shorten that risk exposure by identifying that potential risk issue faster by providing this information faster. So again, to bring it full circle, just like Edrin James was fast on the football field, Balto is fast in delivering the QA scores. So I will hand it back to you, Mark. Deidre, thank you so much. And just like uh, Edron James just got uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame uh, for football, you should be inducted in the Hall of Fame of awesome presentations and great QA products. So uh, thank you so much uh, for spending some time and showing us that. I uh, really appreciate uh, your demo there. 
So I will share my screen one more time, folks, and we'll finish up with uh, the deck that we showed you today. So you saw real-time guidance and the, the Balto application that you've known for this time. You saw real-time coaching and how we're allowing you to jump in and help out in moments that you need. And you saw real-time QA, scoring 100% of your calls on the criteria that matter most and not waiting for QA scores a month later, but getting QA scores in real time today. So when I share my screen here, I'm actually now going to pass it off to our chief product officer a moment, Jeff Zimmerman. What else has Balto been up to? Is it just those things? Have we been sleeping besides that? Jeff, why don't you let everyone know a little bit else what we've been up to? Uh, thanks a lot, Mark. Good segue. So in addition to creating two brand new products that Mark and Deidre just demoed for you, we've also been hard at work making our core real-time guidance product even more robust. If you look at some of these stats across the bottom of the slide, you can see that more than 100 customers have been using Balto real-time guidance to deliver great guidance to agents in real time on more than 75 million calls. And we've developed some raving fans from doing that. You can see in the middle that they have a 4.7 out of five rating on G2 Crowd. So Balto real-time guidance is doing a great job delivering for customers. And our customers have also given us a lot of constructive feedback and suggestions to make the product even stronger. And that's exactly what we've been doing now, focusing on three major areas that I'm going to touch on at the top of the screen. So targeting in the top left, as Mark, as Mark mentioned earlier, we've completely revamped our reporting to make it faster and easier for our customers to see the performance of their teams, of their individual agents, and to even see what content is working best and what content may not be working so well to drive even better performance throughout the entire contact center. We just released some major enhancements to that and we'll be releasing even more improvements over the next 30 days. The second item in yellow is we completely updated the user interface of both our agent app and the cloud app. We made them faster and easier to use. And we also gave them a fresh new look that just looks beautiful. So getting a lot of rave reviews from our customers about both the agent app and the cloud app. And the last area we've improved is with agent leaderboards. Now, leaderboards are the area in the agent app where an agent can click to see how they stack rank against all the other agents on their team. And we've gotten requests from our customers to make those even more customizable. And so that's exactly what we did. This allows each manager or supervisor to pick the most important KPI for their team and have the leaderboard rank the agents on that KPI. And after each and every call, agents can click to see where they stand to see if they're doing well or if they need to improve. And this also drives, again, that feedback loop between the agent and the manager so they can team up together to achieve even better conversations on calls and better off performance across the contact center. So this huge customer base that we've built up, we're able to keep making our products stronger and stronger. And now we're going to do the same thing with our new QA and our new real-time coaching. Mark, I'll pass it back over to you to finish up. Thank you, Jeff. Um... And thank you all to everyone who's been uh, submitting questions. I uh, just checked that chat and it looks like we have 32 uh, different folks who've submitted uh, some form of questions. So thank you very much. And I'll try to create just a little bit of time at the end for a Q&A here. So I'd like to announce to everybody um, a Balto initiative that we care very deeply about. And uh, we will do our absolute best uh, for this new Delta variant or even, uh, God forbid, the Lambda variant we've been hearing about uh, from stopping us. Uh, and we'll make sure that we're doing the right and responsible thing at every moment. But we want to visit 100 of our customers. And we want to visit 100 of our customers in 100 days. We've all been separated for over a year. And we've been doing customer visits online and virtually. And that's great. But there's something that we think that you can really get that's special when you go and visit your customers. So I'd like to announce to everyone, we are doing 100 customers in 100 days of visiting 100 of Balto's customers in, uh, uh, over the next 100 days. And if you're a Balto customer, please, please, please reach out to me, reach out to your customer success manager. We'll get you set up with an on-site visit as soon as it is safe um, and acceptable to do so. So thank you all uh, for being a wonderful customer base. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten about you. So here we are. We are getting toward the end, my friends. And we have a really cool incentive for everybody. If you sign up for a live demo right now, like maybe we'll say in the next 20 minutes, we'll set a timer, 20 minutes, uh, every qualified demo gets a free pair of Beats headphones. 
<laughs> it's good for everybody on this meeting. It's good for Balto. So if you are interested and if you want to learn more, uh, please do sign up for a Balto demo and you can get it at this link, balto.ai slash boom demo. This was our product boom, balto.ai slash boom demo. And just going to call out really grateful to Gartner earlier this year, uh, who's been an awesome partner and uh, wonderful to award us uh, the cool vendor award for 2021. Uh, we, we take that very seriously and are very appreciative of that. So it looks like we do have just five minutes left for Q&A. Uh, let's get to it. Um, and thank you all again. You can see the link down here, balta.ai slash boom demo, and I will open up this chat and we will jump in. Uh, if I could ask one of the other folks on the Balto panel, perhaps uh, Julian leading um, our uh, marketing effort and who helped put this together, um, did any of the Q&A questions that you're seeing here stick out to you that you feel like we could address together on this call? I see one in the chat here, and it's that, is there a priority order for the negative alerts? Um, great question, uh, whoever uh, asked that. Um, and the answer is that the alerts are actually grouped by positive, uh, you know, negative, informative. We wanted to make sure that we did that grouping in order uh, to allow you to focus on the stuff that really needed your immediate critical attention. Uh, but we haven't yet built the ability to prioritize how negative an alert is uh, right now. But great feedback and something that we're always looking at. So thank you for that question. And uh, uh, Jeff and Deidre, if you would mind joining me, um, I can pass the next question uh, to you here. Um, let's see. Uh, will you share some distinctions between Balto and the traditional call analytics programs like, um, I won't name them, competitor A or competitor B analytics? Uh, Jeff, if I could pass that one to you, that'd be great. Happy to do that, Mark. Um, as you hopefully uh, picked up on from today's presentation, Balto is all about real time. We want to help agents deliver better uh, outcomes on calls while they're still happening, help managers coach on calls while they're still happening. The traditional speech analytics platforms out there are sucking in call recordings 24 hours later or a week later, analyzing them and then providing some insights back that you hope to take advantage of in the future. Only Balto is doing this in real time while the calls are happening. Thank you so much, Jeff. And Deidre, if I could pass this next one to you. Um, is the QA compliance automated or manual? And is there a separate dashboard for QA that the agent will need to access or is it added into the Balto dashboard now to get notified when an interaction is available? So our QA scorecards are 100% automated. The scoring is 100% automated for every call that is coming through Balto. Um, so there's no manual component to the calculation, the scoring, um, any of that. Um, as far as agent visibility, yes, we have just released as part of all this boom stuff, um, some new features and functionality that allow our customers to push um, different dashboards to the agents that we call leaderboards that they can view within the Balto desktop. Um, now we're going to integrate this QA functionality with that so that you can set up a QA leaderboard that would allow the agents to see their QA scores, their call quality scores in real time throughout the day um, as they're taking calls and completing calls. Thank you so much, uh, Deidre. And I'll just call out a quick uh, person. Uh, I really like the interactive real-time ability to coach and pop in to give guidance. Thank you very much. That's what we're all about. Uh, I saw a question about integrations. Uh, you know, can you explain how Balto integrates? Sure. So we've actually, uh, this is a real special part about uh, how we've gone to market and how we built this technology. We've integrated with over 45 different CCAS and UCAS providers. Um, all the names that you're familiar with, 8x8, eight eight, Nice and Contact, 59, Ring Central. Uh, we have integrations with all those folks and uh, plenty other uh, up and coming CCAS and UCAS providers. Um, in short, it's a very simple integration um, where we actually are pulling the audio stream ourselves locally. And at the same time, uh, integrating with uh, the CCAS and UCAS's metadata to pass over different information to Balto that can inform the call so it gives better recommendations. So you can take your CCAS and say, uh, you know, when the call starts, automatically start at Balto. So the agent doesn't need to click a thing. 
and you know only uh, show these recommendations for this geography of the customers calling in in these area codes or show this recommendations of the customers calling in this or if they hit a three on the ivr and three is billing issue pop up our billing content and billing recommendations so that's how you're able to have this interplay between your ccas or ucas and Balto. So every time the agent is opening up the application, they're getting an experience based on that call right there in the moment without having to click a thing. Um, and I just saw, want a free client referral? Yeah, I do. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think I can shout them out, Unblinded team. Uh, really appreciate all the work that you guys have uh, done and support you've given us over the years. Thank you. So we have no time left. I was hoping to be in a minute or two. I'll just thank everybody one last time. This was so special and exciting for me and for everybody at Balto. Uh, Balto team, you know, I said it a million times, I couldn't be more grateful to everything that you all have done to help us bring this to light. And Balto customers, you trusted us, you bought in, you made it happen, you got us here. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for our attendees. And this is the new era of coaching QA. It starts now. Enjoy the rest of your day.